my friend Sandra Hart who uh, is up in the Midlands and I had to repaint her dragon because the first uh, attempt peeled off after a year and a half <clears throat> so I went back up to the Midlands and um, collected it brought it home scratched it out repainted it took it back up there reinstalled reputation is everything isn't it so um, I'm back in my garden I'm back painting I'm waiting for an electrician to wire in the new studio at building so in the meantime I've uh, incorporated some of the kids in helping me prepare canvases and stuff because they're a bit bored while they're still on some holidays and um, yeah I'm away again um, I thought I'd do one more black and white of which I then later on and in fact I'm still working on it now so you won't see the final product but um, once I'd done this black and white I thought you know what I've done too many black and whites now I'm going to back up a little bit and colour this one so it's all acrylic it's all on a recycled uh, canvas as you saw and uh, it started it was going well I mean it still looked quite a, a good picture when I finished it in black and white but it's about time I started moving into colour a little bit and at some point I'm going to move into oils but I thought I'd get my painting technique up a little bit before I start working in oils and uh, although I was quite pleased with the end result I thought I've got a few of these now or a few examples excuse me yeah. so I thought I'd add some colour to it and um, yeah I wanted a kind of moody effect so I did three of these with the with the sunlight and the oranges and stuff coming up through off the coast and it's all good practice to sort of um, hit the same sort of picture more than once so this is um, I'm now on a second one I prepared two large canvases and again I had the kids help with me uh, mix paints and miss about and doing some of them were doing their own paintings and things in the background as well and I lent them some play mats and I chucked it out in the grass out in the between the houses there so it's nice and safe and they were doing their gymnastics out on the grass while I was doing this so this is where I am I'm uh, really getting into a little bit of color now and uh, I don't know it's um, painting is a long way from still sculpture really and um, but I am really getting into it I must be honest it's uh, less uh, uh, harmful <clears throat> to myself I breathe in a lot of dust and uh, I make myself very mucky when I'm sculpting. I have some more commissions on my bench and as I um, promised you I shall, um, I've got a big one going up a church soon and I've just started some model making on that and I might show you, yeah I'll add a picture to the end of this just to give you some idea of what's going on with that. 
I haven't done very much at the moment. I haven't recontacted the customer either, but I will be in the next few days. Um, I've got a few doctor's appointments and dentist appointments to do and cars to fix next week, so I'm going to be a bit uh, sidetracked a little bit. So I thought I'd at least bring you up to date what I'm up to at the moment. Now, I've been working big rather than little. Um, later on in this uh, particular film, I'll be showing you what I'm doing on smaller paintings, but this is big stuff. And I find it, I'd never step back often enough. So I get really into an area. I can slap paint about quite liberally and stuff, you know, and uh, I'm certainly getting through some paint. Um, but I step back and I go, oh, <laughs> what on earth have I done? And I'm not stepping back enough. I'm not painting at arm's length, you know, and... Um, yeah, I just might kick everything out of the shed, you know, and just make it into a painting in the winter time, make it into a proper uh, painter's um, workshop studio because that's kind of what it was all about out there, and I've just filled it up with tools. But anyway, the results aren't too bad. I'm not upset with the results. I think they're a, a simple product. I'm not only uh, be messing about with them. Um, I mean, they're the big canvases I had. So I had some other pictures that I'd started as um, a coloured smaller ones um, so I thought well okay I'm starting to enjoy these sunsets so I'll modify these I've got a basics there I've got a sort of framework of a, a tree lined high view onto a onto a beach that's quite a long way away but I, I'd already done the sea so it was all in sort of proportions and stuff I was quite happy what was going on there but um, yeah, I thought I'll add these sunsets and stuff and get in some detail. And now it's a smaller canvas. And I realise I can get around this smaller canvas quite quick without using up too much paint. And again, I'm getting into it. I'm using very large brushes. I used a two-inch brush on this one to dab some paint on and stuff. So, yeah, I'm really sort of um, practising my technique with brushes. And again, getting quite into it. <clears throat> and this is uh, something else I've not done a lot with, is, is to bring the camera right up close to kind of show you what I'm looking at in detail, you know. It's all very well standing back and, and seeing what I'm doing, but, you know, this is what I'm doing at, at close range. And I must apologise, I realised after the event that the, the camera wants to focus on my hand, <laughs> not on the picture. So that's just really poor um, camera technique. And I do apologise for that. I'm completely mad, and um, yeah, um, Jonathan, um, what's his name? What's that American guy's name? Bob, Bob Ross. Bob Ross's cameraman would be pulling his hair out, wouldn't he? Um, I'd just like to thank the, the late, great Bob Ross, by the way, and uh, with his um, happy mistakes and things. I just, um, he's been a great inspiration as a child, even though I never really did it when I was a kid, I didn't really get the paintbrushes out. Um, but his voice, it was just fantastic what, it, what he was up to. So here we are then. I'm just coming to the end of this one and uh, doing lots of dabbing and getting the black of the, the foliage and things that I'd noticed. And um, yeah, we're again quite pleased with the result really for a little canvas like that. Still took me quite a long time. I'm not going to deny it. And I am still learning, but um, yeah, I'm producing products here. There's no doubt about it. And uh, like I say, I'm model making in the background. I see what Steve's um, doing. And I was modelling in some very strange clays wow. and things. I don't know what you call it. It's like a foamy type clay that my son got me yeah. on birthday. I see what Steve's doing. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah, so, um, you know, oh, my assistant, Bryony, I thought I'd do a picture of her. I'm trying to show, um, I got nearly got a commission the other day from quite a rich fellow that wanted his children done. So I thought I'd, I'd do an example of, I've not really um, drawn children before. Um, I'm going to draw and paint one of my grandchildren as well. This is a grandchild of a neighbour. Bryony that's been helping me and has been a bit of a, an assistance over the summer holiday so I thought I'd do her use this as a bit of a reference um, and an example of my work and my, my, my draftsmanship 
wasn't overly joyed the way it came out and I think I can come back to this at a later stage and uh, work on this a little bit more. So I'm sort of hanging it in the background and studying it and seeing where I've gone wrong and why it isn't really working for me quite yet. It's nearly there but uh, yeah I tried all sorts of oh excuse me uh, I tried all sorts of things on this one see what I could get, get with it but uh, yeah I'm still you know I'm learning I'm learning and I don't think you ever stop learning when you're painting you really don't um, I'll, I'll do some drawings as well I've not shown you my drawing craft yet and of course the summer's drawing to an end we did some of this stuff live went out to the countryside uh, did a shot of why and everybody knows where this views from up on the downs there by the devil's kneeling trough and uh, yeah still working on my clouds i'd like to thank susanna for a lovely summer by the way we've had a nice time this this year haven't gone away as, as much as we wanted to but we've produced some nice work between us so look thanks very much for listening and um, don't forget to subscribe i'll be showing you some more pictures um yeah i shall bang some more pictures down in a minute but look stay safe